Hey y'all. <laughs> so as promised, today is the first episode of um, With The Shits. And um, in, tr in full transparency, y'all, I'm on my way to an event. And I didn't have time to stop at the studio. So it was more important for me that you all got the episode than it was for me to deliver the episode from my studio. So the first episode is coming from my car. But that's okay because the information is still going to be just as relevant. Um, when I thought about what I really needed to talk about today or what I wanted to talk about today, the first thing that really came to my mind is politics. And that's because we are in such a, oh my God, we are in such a state of emergency, y'all. Like we are literally, we're really in a state of emergency. And I know the sentiment in terms of our politics right now. Um, I have been a registered Democrat since I was registered to vote. However, I'm going to let you know that after this election, this real this is my last um election as a registered Democrat. I I am going to be going independent because I feel like we are not getting enough for our unyielding loyalty to the Democratic Party. And I feel like we need to start holding po political people accountable for what they should be doing for us if we vote for them. And I just don't feel like we get that from the Democrats. They do what they can. However, they, in my opinion, at this point, they don't do enough. And so, however, that aside, right this this election y'all it is what it is we have who we have and um while i would never tell anyone to who to vote for what i'm going to say to my people is this i know we don't have a perfect a perfect candidate i am the first person to say i don't I don't want an 80 year old white man as my president. I think that we have progressed beyond his be beyond his time. I think that we should be um, rearing up some new, energized, younger people. Absolutely, 100%. Hard stop. Period. Paragraph. Indent. Um, however, that being said, like we have 200 and something days to the election. We don't have time to do that at this moment. The moment for that is the day after he wins this election. The day after Joe Biden wins this election, that is when we need to start priming our next candidate. Um, however, for today, I think that we have to cast our vote for the person who is going to do the least amount of harm, y'all. This is a harm reduction vote. Um, make no mistake about it. And let me say this. Mainstream media would like us to believe that black people are in droves leaving the Democratic Party, voting for Donald Trump. No, we're not. There's a small population of black men who are, because it's not black women, who are voting that way and it's not these the these numbers are insignificant to the amount of people to the to the amount of us that vote traditionally democratic don't believe the hype the people over there they don't have they 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 don't have our best interest anyway so let them stay over there i'm talking to the the rest of us um we have to not only vote in this election but we have to really start looking at how we're using our votes on a local and state level. Because what people don't realize, yes, this election is a really big election. However, the state and local elections are really big also because those are the elections that bring you your judges, your sheriffs, your prosecutors. Those are the elections that bring you those people. And those people really are handling more of the local state policies that really affect that we can actually feel in our day-to-day -day lives right um but this election is what i consider a harm reduction vote um we do need to pick our poison at this particular point um and i don't feel like we as a as a people have the time or 
frankly, black people, we can't take a chance because when I see nothing frustrates me more than when I see ignorant black people ch ranting and raving when at Trump's antics. Okay, in twenty, it, when he was running for elect, when he was running for president the first time. <clears throat> Pardon me. When he was running for president the first time, but I mean, he was just he was just so dumb that it was funny. It's not funny anymore, y'all. He is exactly who we've seen him to be. And this man wants to be a dictator. And as much as y'all think his bullshit is funny, you do not want to live in author an authoritative country you do not want to live in a country where there's no democracy where you have one person making all making all the rules trust me trust me mothers you do not want to live in a country where law enforcement is knocking on your door taking your sons your grandsons your nephews your brothers your uncles to fight in some godforsaken war that they know absolutely nothing about you do not want to live in a country where it's run by one person and that one person's entire goal is power and control. That is all this is about. It's about power and it's about control. Donald Trump wants to be a dictator and he has said this to you. Please take him at his word. Um, and that's why this election's vote, I mean... The Democratic Party, every election, they say, oh, we got to save democracy. Well, the problem with saying that when we were at least dealing with sane Republicans, like I could deal with a Republican who is sane. I can deal with a Republican who has their faculties. I can deal with someone who's not dem Democratic. I got that or who's not a Democrat. These new MAGA Republicans, this is something different. This is this is different, y'all. This is different. So if you feel like, and I and I understand your frustration, I'm frustrated as well. But I feel like after this election, we really do. We need to have a black meeting, right? We need to have a black meeting, and in this black meeting, we need to, which I have already drafted. <laughs> I drafted it during 2020. We need to have a black agenda where we are, where we have absolute goals, absolute objectives. We have um, strategies to measure success. We can assign these goals to people who are supposed to be acting on our behalf. I don't think there's anything wrong with black Americans saying, look, we need this for us. I get everybody else's atrocities. I get the Jews challenged. I get the Indians challenged. I get all of that. But what was done to black people in the United States of America on black soil? Yeah, we want ours. We want ours. You owe us. And I think that moving forward after this election, when we are really looking at the next group of leaders because we do need a next group of leaders like it's too many old people in congress it's too many old people too many men too many white people we need a government that is reflective of the people it serves and right now that's not this is not what it is but we can work on that after we get through this so this particular episode um is really what I want you to take away from it is number one, I, I understand your, your frustration. Um, but number two, how important it is for us to vote in this election. And it is a harm reduction vote. Um, and number three, how important it is for us to talk to one another and encourage one another in this process and encourage one another to engage civically. Um, because it's important and y'all, our lives are on the line. So that's all I have for today. This video was long. It's like 10 minutes. But that's all I have for today. I'm on my way into an event. Um, this is the first episode of With the Shits. And it was With the Shits in politics. So I'll see you next week. God willing. Bye.